everyone, Cynthia here with The Nameless Homestead and today is lockdown day. It is day 18 for our fertile hatching eggs. If you've been following along with our story, I'll include some links or some pictures or some timestamps here so that you guys can get updated. Lockdown is what we call the final days, days 18 to 21 when you're incubating your chicks. The first 17 days of incubation have slightly different requirements than days 18 through 21. So let's go over and start prepping our eggs for lockdown and I'll show you what I mean. During the first 17 days of incubation, we wanna keep these guys at about 40 to 50% humidity. Now we need to take them down and get that humidity up to 60 to 70% as hatch day approaches. We wanna keep the air moist inside the incubator so that when they're hatching, they don't evaporate their moisture within their egg too quickly. If they do, this can call what is called shrink wrapping. I'll show a picture of that if I can in the upper left-hand corner here. We definitely want to avoid that because it can make it so that the chicks can't hatch out, get stuck in the shell and cause all sorts of problems. So this is an important step. The easiest way to increase the humidity quickly in your incubator is to use hot water, hot steamy water. So what we're gonna do is I'm going to pull out the tray, fill up a cup with nice hot water, put it in there and close the lid super fast. At this time, if you have any vent ports on your incubator, like mine here, we're gonna keep it nice and closed. You'll see even the glass starting to fog up with the steam of the hot water. That's exactly what we want. And now we're going to use our little GoV humidity and temperature sensor that I put in the incubator, links in the descriptions to that product below as always. And we're gonna go ahead and check that and make sure we get up to 60% plus. Okay, right up there at about 70%, that is exactly what we wanna see. Temperature's looking great as well. That's gonna rise a little bit because we put hot water in there, but this should all settle down here in a few minutes and start coming down to about 60%. If you find that you're having a hard time getting your incubator up to the correct humidity or keeping it there, as not all incubators have as good of a seal as these Brinsies do, a thing that can be super helpful that I've used in the past is cut up squares of a fresh, brand new sponge. You definitely don't wanna use a used one for obvious reasons, but if you use a fresh sponge and then you set it in between the eggs or next to the eggs inside your incubator and drip warm water on them and get them soaking with warm water, that will increase the total surface area of moisture within your incubator and therefore increase the humidity. Another thing that we're changing from here on out between 18 to 21 days is we're gonna take out the divider bars and stop turning our eggs. Now, of course, I just put the hot water in there, so I have to take the lid off and mess that up a little bit, but it's so warm and so wet in there, it doesn't matter. So we're gonna take off the lid again, remove the cardboard that we've been using as spacers, remove the arm bars, and lay our eggs down on their sides. The reason why we do this is because when the chicks begin to hatch, if the bars and everything are in there, they're gonna have a hard time moving around. They're gonna get their legs caught up in there. I know some people tend to leave the dividers in there, but I've had nothing but problems. So I personally like to take out the dividers and lay all the eggs on their sides. It just creates less fuss later, and you don't wanna have to open up your incubator during hatching time when only part of the clutch has hatched out and you need desperately to keep that humidity up for every sake. And that's it. That's all there is to lockdown. Not that big, not that serious. A simple procedure that gets you set up for hatch day. Between now and the next several days at any time, but most likely on days 20 and 21, we will start seeing pips in the shells. That's little tiny breathing hole cracks that they make. And after a chick pips, it can be anywhere from 24 to 48 hours until they hatch completely out of the shell. I cannot wait to share that experience with you guys. It is so much fun. I will definitely be live streaming it. So stay tuned, hit the like button on this video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed already, and make sure you turn on the notification bell so that you can be updated when we do go live for hatch day. See you all then.